Today's message is going to consist of three parts. I'm going to sing a song, play it, that's the first part. Then I'm going to talk about its message. And then I'm going to follow on with today's message. I shall now begin. Tonti mi kola chasadim umikol haemet asha sita et avdecha. Katonti mi kola chasadim umikol haemet asha sita et avdecha. Kiv makli avarti et hayarden aze ata haiti. בשני מחנות, אצילני נא, אצילני נא, אצילני נא. כי מקלי עברתי את הירדן, ואתה הייתי בשני מחנות, אצילני נא, אצילני נא, אצילני נא. כי נחזתך גדול עליי, כי... That's a song in Hebrew. I shall now follow on to its interpretation into English. My merits are scarce as a result of the favors you, God, have done for me. My merits are scarce and they are few as a result of the favors you have done for me. For it was solely with my stick that I crossed the Jordan River and now I have been graced with two camps, with two camps. And now I have been graced with two camps. And now I have been graced with two camps, with two camps. God, please deliver me. For it is with kindness you have powered me. You saved me and my soul. Oh, you have from my own doom. That's the song. In English and in Hebrew. I shall now play the song on my keyboard. This song is sung and played by the famous singer Yonatan Razel. He is to be found on YouTube. You could see his video, how beautifully he sings and plays a song on YouTube. I shall now begin and play this on my keyboard.
beautiful song, and I shall now explain what it's all about. It was merely with one stick I crossed the Jordan River. It was merely with a stick, with scarcity, with almost nothing. I crossed the Jordan River. I left my past life. I left the abuse I faced in the past. I left the person who abused me. And I removed myself from there. I removed myself from that. With scarcity, with very little. Today, I have plenty full. I have a mountain full. I found the deepest place of love from within my heart. Nonetheless, I turn to God and I say, God, thank you. I came from nothing. Today, I love myself. I care for myself. I know myself. I cherish and I admire my strengths. And I cherish and I admire how far I have come. But I will never forget where I came from. I surrender before God. I will never, ever forget where I came from. That's what this message entails. That's what this song entails. Again, don't get the impression that I have any feelings of grudges towards the people who hurt me in my past. Don't get that sense at all. I have nothing but blessings for the people who hurt me in my past. People who abused me in my past, they were dealing with their own past trauma and their own past abuse. I don't blame them for it. Although I've yet to totally heal from it and totally forgive them for it, I promise you I will get there. That's a promise. I will one day be totally forgiving of the people who hurt me in my past, the people who abused me in my past. I'll be totally forgiving. It'll be a clean slate as far as I'm concerned. Nonetheless, I have never said that I will Pretend it never happened? It happened. I will, make, I will make believe it didn't happen. It did happen. Nonetheless, I know what it has done for me as a person. I know what amazing strengths it has given me as a person. And that's why I'm able to move on and forgive. When I call somebody in my past an abuser, that doesn't mean that I'm in some way trying to vindicate them. Not at all. On the contrary, when somebody is an abuser, they really know that they're an abuser. They don't realize that they are dealing with past trauma, which they are finding within somebody else's realm, within somebody else's reality, to violate, to um, abuse, to hurt. That's okay. People do all sorts of things in order to get past their own trauma. Not for me to judge. I'm here to judge Jessica Madden. That's what I do in my channel. I do judge myself. I'm here to judge myself. And as a result, to help myself grow higher and higher and higher. I want to point out something very interesting. Which actually goes along with the concept of believing in God. Of seeing other people who obstructed you on your spiritual journey obstructed you on whatever journey you're on. Seeing them as just God in humanly form. I shall explain an amazing teaching which I will first read out to you. It comes from my teacher, Matt Kahn. I'm going to first read out to you and then I'm going to tell you how it relates to this message. People don't have power. Only divinity has power. People only seem to have power because of the divinity within it. And when we affirm that only the divine has power, every character who, acted, who enters our presence can only act in accordance to serving the power of divinity within us. Circumstances, outcomes, situations do not have power over us. Only divinity has power over us. When we focus our trust and belief, we're in, we believe that situations and beliefs 
have power, we hence forget the divinity within us, and we only reclaim our power by changing this. You must make the decision that only divinity has power. When only divinity has power, everything in existence will serve you. Isn't that powerful? It's a powerful teaching from my amazing teacher, Matt Kahn. I've taken on board so much of his teachings because he doesn't just speak to my heart. His energy, his tone of voice, his expression, every part of his expression literally changed my life. Take this message on board. I deliver messages here on YouTube in order to help you ascend. I share my life experiences in order to help you ascend, in order to help you know that you are part of the divine. I have a unique life experience. I have an unusual life experience. And I'm happy to share those experiences. I have, um, life, I have a life experience and life experiences. I'm happy to share those experiences because I love doing what God does. I love emanating God by serving others, by being kind to others, caring for them, and giving them the tips of my survival, of my journey, of my success. What happens when you get onto a spiritual path and you've hence given yourself the greatest gift of self-love? What happens? You know what happens? People stop violating you. The greatest tip I could give you in order to overcome past abuse and in order to get away from a past abuser or from a current abuser is love yourself, respect yourself, care for yourself. You will see unbelievable manifestations and unbelievable means of alignment created in your paradigm. I've seen this myself. On the average day, I speak to about 50 people. And I deal with all kinds of people. Some people are very low energy. It doesn't affect me anymore. You know why? Because I care for myself. I love myself. I make myself nice meals daily. I cook for myself. I entertain myself. That's the way to do it. You want to get off to a great path? When I get up to a great start, to a great means of success, look out for yourself, care for yourself, cook for yourself, entertain yourself, protect your boundaries, respect your boundaries. When you respect yourself, nobody will respect you thereafter. When you disrespect yourself, people will carry on disrespecting you. That's my powerful message. If you enjoy this video, smash the like button. Feel free to share away and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and press that tiny little bell notification next to it so you too can see these videos every single day. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for Mike and Beth who are continuously dropping amazing feedback and amazing comments. I thank you so much and I am humbled for your amazing grace. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you so much.